for all the makeup companies and makeup brands out there, I have a request. There are all these awesome collaborations and product releases coming out. It's a lot. It, it really is a lot and it's very difficult to choose. And I've already declared that in 2018, no weapon formed against my bank account shall prosper. So can we just please kind of slow, slow it down a little bit. Give us a little bit of time to catch our breath. <laughs> Hello, if you've never seen me before. Hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> you guys have absolutely no idea how excited I am to see you, even though I can't see you, but I see you. So I've been gone for a little while, but I'm back with the jump off. I say that every time, every time. Okay, so I'm super excited. I'm so amped up right now. If you've been following me on Instagram and Snapchat, you know that I've been sick and that's why I've been gone. I completely lost my voice. Before the end of 2017, your girl got sick and it was just all bad. I did try to talk and there was a point where I tried to do a few snaps and all that and my voice still sounded like complete and total rubbish. So I've rested. We're not quite 100% yet, but you know, we're like at 98.5. So we thank God for recovery. And I am so, so, so happy to be doing videos again. I have missed filming. I've missed creating. I've missed hearing from you all. And thank you so much to those of you who did follow up with me and check on me and you guys are just the best. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Towards the end of 2017, I came up with the idea, like why don't I just start a series where I try stuff out, but I didn't really want it to be a set of random videos. I wanted a consistent theme and I feel like the best way to have that consistency is to give it a name. So this idea came to me to do Yuki Tries It or Yuki Tried It. And I was like, Yuki Tried It? It's just kind of like, mm. But then I thought, wait a minute. You tried it, cause get it, Yuki tried it, you tried it, you dropped the key, you, okay, you, you get it, yeah. I'm very excited for this series, like a consistent way of introducing new products to you guys without doing a full length review. It can just be a first impressions kind of thing. So this is officially the first installation of the You Tried It series and if you don't know who Jackie Ina is, she is an incredible content creator here on YouTube who is in the beauty sphere. Can we call it that? Yeah, beauty sphere. And she is just, she's an amazing person. You can tell from her videos and I have met her in person. I was privileged enough to attend her birthday party last year in 2017 where I met her. I met Mac Daddy who is the uh, founder of Artist Couture which is a company that is doing a collaboration with Jackie Ina for these highlighters. Whew, I'm just, I'm very excited, okay. Jackie Ina did do a previous collaboration with Artist Couture for the release of Le Bronze, which was the initial rose gold highlighter that she came out with, primarily to fit more darker, deeper skin tones, just because there is definitely a gap in color choices for highlighters that suit darker skin tones. So the first release of Le Bronze, I didn't get it. I don't know what was happening. I think I just procrastinated until like, they were like, oh, there's no more. And I'm like, wait, 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 no. Artist Couture is known for releasing really highly pigmented, really high quality highlighters. They tend to be loose highlighters, not necessarily pressed highlighters like we're used to. So the pre-order day was December 15th and the day that it went live was December 25th. I got mine on December 15th because I was not trying to take any chances. They started shipping most of them out December 26th and then I got mine on December 28th. The entire bundle, which includes the LeBron's highlighter and the La Peach highlighter, as well as a cute little makeup bag is $55 for everything. So two highlighters and a makeup bag, $55, right? And each highlighter, La Peach and La Bronze, are um, $28 each. And if you wanna just get the makeup bag, which is like a rose gold glittery bag, it's super cute. And it even has a rose gold zipper. You guys know I am all for detail. You guys know I'm a sucker for packaging. If you don't know already, white and gold are my colors. If I could do everything white and gold, I, I definitely would. I mean, obviously, like, 
If you just want to get the bag, it is only $7. It got shipped to me in just, you know, your standard regular packaging. And it also comes with this really cute card. On here, Jackie is slaying, as y'all can see. It is a gorgeous campaign shoot that they did for this product launch. On here it says, I created LeBron's because I wanted the perfect rose gold highlight for my complexion. She's the perfect mix of deep copper and rose gold blends. Now I introduce to you her little sister, La Peach. The perfect mix of champagne, peach, and rose gold tones suitable for all all skin tones use them together for the perfect mix of both i love you guys so much and i hope you enjoy this collection as much as i do xoxo jackie Ina. they come in these little boxes that are really cute and just so pretty that's really the best way i can put it it's literally my aesthetic each highlighter is 28 dollars the net weight is 4.5 grams or 0.16 ounces i am definitely a pressed highlighter girl i always have been and I think this will be my first time trying out a loose highlighter. I've used a liquid highlighter once and I still have yet to figure that out and you know the mechanisms of all of that. These are made in the USA and they are cruelty free. Looks like it says it has a 36 month shelf life. As you can see LeBron's is definitely a rose gold highlighter. She does not play. She is not here for the tomfoolery. She is definitely here to slay she's here to la slay and here we have la peach i can definitely see a bit of a hint of rose gold in la peach as well so you know we had to part the red sea put the hair into a bun and really take advantage of the real estate here that's about to get blessed with la peach and lebron's I don't have two of the same type of highlighter brushes so i'm going to be using these two i've got my sigma F35 tapered highlighter, and I've got the Morphe R36. Hey, okay, I'm not even done. I'm over here getting all hype. This is a problem. This is, this is a, this is a problem. That is a gorgeous color. Oh my goodness. I take a little bit, or a lot of bit, <laughs> on the brow. Oh my god. You know what? I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Thank you for watching the video. This is it. Um, you know, it's just that's all. Catch this side. Okay, you, you don't have to bring it all the way to the front of the face. Just just catch this side. Catch this side. I said catch this side. I just can't stop loving you. And if I stop, then tell me just what will I do? You guys, I cannot stop. I can't, I can't stop. I applied a lot, but don't catch me outside. Catch this side. I'm gonna use this for the peach. I feel like it might be too fluffy, but let's try. Girl, what? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. <clears throat> what you guys probably cannot see on camera right now is the fact that this is showing up with rose gold tones. This is innovation, okay? Are you computing right? Are you computing right now? Let me just apply this. What was I thinking? Don't do this with loose highlighters, you guys. I just dipped, tapped off, and no, don't do that. Don't do that. You guys know I love a brow highlight. I wasn't expecting <laughs> this kind of response. My heart is beating fast. Lord have mercy. Okay, let's... I'm thinking of all the possible looks that can come out of using these as highlighters and eyeshadows, which reminds me, I'm putting these on my eyes. Y'all really did... Yes, I'm here for it. I'm there for it. I'm everywhere for it. <laughs> you guys know whenever I apply glitter to my eyes, I use the Lit Cosmetics Clearly Lit Wearing the cubic zucker. My name's wearing the cubic zucker. 
You know the zirconian thing? The Lit Cosmetics Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. I'm gonna use that today. If you haven't seen my how to apply glitter without fallout video, I'll go ahead and link it up here and put the little eye up there so you can watch it because it'll give you a more in-depth look at how exactly this process goes. So you take a little bit of the base onto any type of surface, a glass surface or any type of mixing plate. Take your brush, dip it into the base and then dip it into your glitter. And what that'll do is it'll kind of form this liquid consistency that you can now apply onto your eye without having to worry about glitter getting all over the place because I'm not a fan of putting you know glitter primer or whatever on my eyes and then going in and patting on the glitter because it gets everywhere and I absolutely hate it so this is the method I've been using for like forever I'm not using my Pringles cover I'm using an actual mixing plate <laughs> no, just kidding. It was only like $3 on AliExpress. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna take a drop of my glitter base. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. I prefer to pour it out because dipping your brush in here and then into whatever product you're gonna use and then going back in and here, you're just gonna contaminate the whole thing. So it's better to just pour it out. I'm gonna take my little fancy spatula or whatever, you know, we fancy now, cause it's 2018. I'm just gonna take a little bit. I don't think I'll need much. I feel like I'm in a science lab. And take a brush and dip into my glitter base and go into LeBron's. Ooh, I wish I could show this to you guys. It looks so pretty. And I didn't think this would work with something as fine as this. These highlighters are really, really fine. Oh my God. So I just went back and forth from the base to the highlighter and it looks like the amount of highlighter that I used was actually perfect. I've still got La Peach on here, but I kind of want to show you guys. I don't know if you could see La Peach in that little clump right there and then that liquid is the glitter base. I did have some eyeliner on already, so I think it kind of mixed in with it and that's why it's a little bit darker down here. I'm gonna do the other side using the peach. It's gonna be pretty trippy, but I just wanted to show you guys what these look like on the eyes. I've used up all of the glitter base, so I don't wanna go back in and add some more, but you guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted to demonstrate this, but you guys get, you get the gist of it. You guys thought I was gonna leave that alone, huh? The upper lip. I think I'm gonna mix these two. And add both of the colors. I'm gonna add some LeBrons to the nose. Oh yeah, I definitely like them together. This is the most importante part of this entire situation oh fam i'm putting this everywhere everywhere i'm just basically playing makeup today i'm not even trying to make sure anything is perfect i'm literally just playing in makeup that's all i'm doing just putting stuff all over my face <laughs> this is why you can't give me shiny things i do this i have completely exhausted <laughs> Highlighter space on my face. <laughs> I love both of these colors. I'm so glad that this collaboration was done. I'm so glad that I got a chance to get my hands on these products. Congratulations to Jackie Ina and Artist Couture for a very successful launch and very, very great highlighter products. I will definitely be using these on my eyes and on my cheeks as well. I am very much looking forward to more videos and more time with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do not forget to thumbs it up and also comment down below in the comment section to let me know what you think. Did you guys get LeBron's or La Peach? And if you did, which one did you like or did you only get one or... How, like, how are you feeling about this? Because you can obviously already tell how I'm feeling about this. Give me some of your input on what you think looks best on me because I feel like they both look really good. If you haven't already and you wanna join the Yuki fam, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell to get all notifications so you'll never miss an upload from me. And if you are not already, go ahead and follow me on social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Lord willing, stay blessed. Bye.